precious Father. We just come to you this morning just to say thank you. Thank you for just waking us up this morning. Yeah. Thank you for just us existing. this world, Lord. Heal souls, Lord, and bodies, Lord. Touch minds, Lord. Give us a heart change, Lord. Give us a mind change right now, Lord. We ask you that you protect each and every one of us, Lord. We ask you that you bless this church, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord. Touch our pastor, Lord. Touch his family, Lord. Just keep us right now, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for a heart of repentance, Lord. Lord, we need you each and every day, Lord. We ask you that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Help us to be bold and on fire for you yeah. right now, Lord. Help us right now, this Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, Lord. We ask you that you continue to strengthen families, Lord. Strengthen marriages right now on today, Lord. Lord, we ask you that you just shape us and mold us, Lord, in the way that you see for us to be, Lord. We ask you that you continue to lead and guide us each and every day, Lord. I ask you that you just continue to bless us right now, Lord. Bless this service, Lord. We're expecting a supernatural move on today, Lord, right now. Lord, I ask all these many blessings in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, the scripture reading for today will be 2 Corinthians chapter 4, just a few verses, from verses 16 through 18. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction which is but a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are seen are eternal. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers, the doers, and the listeners of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Word and Worship Church. We are so excited and blessed to have you here with us today. If this, this, if this is your first time with us either in person or virtually, please pull out your cell phones and text the word welcome to area code 318-558-8627. You will receive a brief electronic connect card that will be used to keep in touch with you, share church information, and answer any questions that you may have. Also, do us a favor and check into the Word and Worship Church on Facebook. <laughs> the following are this week's announcements. Bible study will resume this coming Wednesday, September 1st, at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are going to be beginning a new Bible study series titled, How to Study Your Bible. So we hope to see you there. Also, there has been one Friday every month from now until the end of the year that has been designated for Friday night prayer. Woo! Yes. Prayer will be on those designated Fridays from at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you can either come here to the church or you can also attend virtually. The dates are as follows. September 10th, October 8th, November 12th, and December 10th. So once again, one Friday for, per month for the rest of the year. So please come out with us and be blessed. Get prayers in and let the Lord bless you on those Friday night prayer services. We are the Word and Worship Church. Serving God, loving people, changing lives. Be blessed. If you want more of the Lord, can you lift your hands on this morning? Take everything I don't want it, I don't need it, God. Take everything I don't want it, I don't need it, God. I just want you, I just want you. I just want you, I just want you, we just want you, we just want you, I just want you, yeah, I just want you, so take everything.
just want you. Let's say it again. Take everything.
your gracious Father right now in the name of Jesus. We need you like never before. We are hungry. We are thirsting. We are longing. And we are desperate for you. Dear Father, meet us at the point of our needs. Saturate us in your glory. Release the power and the anointing of God on us right now. Dear Father, we thank you. We magnify your name higher than every other name. Dear Father, we're asking you to have your way today. Dear Father, you know what we need to hear. You know what lies ahead of us. You know what we are currently dealing with. And dear Father, we are asking you for your glory to fill this place. Before we move further in your presence, we're asking you to forgive us for all of our sins. Purify our hearts and our minds and sanctify us wholly. Anything, any hindrance, any distractions, any attacks, any fear, any anxiety that's blocking the way of you moving like you want to move, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Release your power even the more. Release your glory even the more. Dear Father, we're asking you to have your way. We humble ourselves in your presence because we know nothing. We have nothing. But the only reason why we're here and the only reason why we're standing and the only reason why we're functioning the only reason why we have our mind and our heart and the will to live and to thrive is because of you. Dear Father, if you stop blessing us with the material possessions, we owe you our praise because you're God. If you stop being good to us, we still owe you our praise because you're God. Dear Father, we want you to know that we love you and that we adore you and that we need you more than life itself. You are the air that we breathe. You are the reason why we can face another day. Thank you for putting clapping in our hands and running back in our feet. And thank you for a voice and a heart and a mind to want to cry out to God. Can I get somebody to open up their mouth and give God a praise? This has been an unusual morning, which means God is trying to do something unusual in this place. I need somebody to press in the worship. Come on, come on, come on. I don't need the whole church. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you right now. I need you to press in the praise. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you right now. Not because we need an emotional charge, but we need God to move. God, we thank you right now, God. God, we thank you right now, God. Holy Spirit, we need you right now. Have your way in this place, God. Have your way in this place, God. Have your way in this place, God. Do what only you can do. Move like only you can move. Saturate us in your glory. Rabba Rosa. Saturate us in your anointing. God, we're desperate for you. We're desperate for you. I need all the desperate people to open up their mouth. I promise you God is trying to shift something. God is trying to do something. Clear the clutter of our mind. Clear the clutter. Clear the clutter right now. And have your very own way. Loose the shackles in the name of Jesus. Destroy the yokes right now. Heal. Deliver. Set free. Set our minds free from worry and anxiety. Set our hearts free from unforgiveness and hatred. Set our souls free from sin and shame. So God, we need you right now, God. 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 So, God, we're asking you to save somebody. Save God. Robosa. Save God. Save our sons and save our daughters. Save God. Tear down that stony heart. Open up the blind eyes of the blind, God, so they can see that they need to be saved. Save. I need somebody to open up their mouth to begin to intercede and say, save, Lord. God, so 
Somebody need to be saved. Somebody need to be saved. Save Roba Rasa Kavaria. Save right now. That way with son. That way with daughter. That way with husband. That way with wife. That neighbor. That man. That woman. Save right now. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Go now, God, and break it up, God. Go now, God, and disrupt their sin life. Go now, God. Save in the name of Jesus. Save in the name of Jesus. So, God, we need you like never before. Feel a special anointing. Release your healing. Give us a mind and a heart to love you. Forgive us, God. We're too distracted. Too distracted. Too distracted with the cares of this world. Renew our focus, God. Renew a heart and a mind that loves you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're not doing everything that we should do. Help us to get in a hurry, God. Help us to get in a hurry, God. Forgive us for being distracted. Forgive us for being unfocused. Forgive us for allowing the cares of this world to hinder our praise. Forgive us for putting things before you. Oh God, Rabbi Yassi. Oh God, Rabbi Yoko Masai. Oh God, we're crying out, God. This is your service. Speak to our hearts this morning. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, light that fire, God. Light that fire, God. Give us our hunger back. Give us our hunger and thirst back. Give us a mind, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is a morning of intercessory. We're interceding, God. Oh God, our program is out the way. Have your way right now, Jesus. We're intercessors this morning. And we're covering our nation in prayer. Touch our nation right now, Robert Laka. Touch our president right now, God. Give him wisdom and give him guidance. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Cover this nation in prayer. Cover this nation in the blood of Jesus. Cover this nation right now, oh God. Protect this nation right now. Robosa. We bind every attack of the enemy. Robarasa. We bind every secret strategy and mission. That's aimed to destroy this nation. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind every plot. We bind every snare. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the spiritual attack on this nation, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. There's still power in the name of Jesus. There's still power in the name of Jesus. Do it right now, oh God. Do it right now, oh God. Send revival to this nation. Send revival to this nation until we cry out, what must I do to be saved? Send revival. Send revival. Send revival. Send revival. I dare somebody to open up their mouth and say, Lord, revive me again. Oh, God, revive me again. Oh, God, revive me. Revive me. Revive me, Robosha. The most powerful thing we can do is pray. We're not hopeless. We're not helpless. We're not downtrodden. As long as we know that we are connected to a powerful God. As long as we can pray, things can happen. There is hope. There is hope. There is 
hope. Uh, there is hope. Uh, somebody scream, the devil is a liar. Uh, come on, come on. You can't have this nation. Uh, you can't have this state. Uh, you can't have this city. Uh, you can't have my family. Uh, I dare some prayer warriors uh, to intercede in prayer. Uh, you are a prayer warrior today. Uh, God has assigned this church this morning to pray for this nation. Uh, so God, even as we pray, uh, God, I declare and decree uh, that you cut Ida. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we rebuke the damage. Uh, I know what the enemy intended, but just like God rebuked the wind and the waves, uh, he can do it today. We rebuke Ida. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Uh, I know what the God uh, we declare that the Holy Spirit is going to minimize the damage. We declare and decree and we cover the heavens in prayer. We cover the heavens in prayer because my God is bigger than any hurricane. My God is bigger than every prediction. God says when the saints pray, the prayers of the righteous are well as much. I need every righteous person to open up their mouth and begin to intercede. Akaroba rosa kanda maroko rasa kanda maroko rosa kanda maria kanda maria. Cover New Orleans under the blood of Jesus. Black Rouge in the name of Jesus. Cover, 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 cover. I dare somebody say the devil is a liar. We release the power of God over that hurricane. We release the power. We release the power of God. We release the power of God. We release the power of God. We are people of faith. We are people of faith. We are people of faith. Our trust is not in man. Our trust is not in riches. But our trust is in God. I get somebody to put those heads together. He said there's releasing a hurricane of the anointing in this place. Come on, open up your mouth. Rosa. Ayabariosa. You got the Mariosa. You got the You got the I need all my intercessors to speak to Ida and say, Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Come on. Say, Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, Jesus rebuked the wind and the wave. We can use the name of Jesus. How many people know there's power in the name of Jesus? I get somebody to open up their mouth and shout Jesus. Come on, come on. Shout Jesus. He said, when you shout Jesus, the personal storms in your life will cease. The storm in your mind, the storm in your body, the storm in your spirit. Everybody elevate those hands. Arabario Korea Maria Sando. Oh, Yabario Ko Maria C. Nika Nabario Korea Maria Sito. Oh, oh, yes, God. Oh, Yamario Koya Maria Sita. Oh, Yamario Koya Masai. Anabario Ko. my heavenly language is taking over and the Holy Spirit is praying prayers we don't even know that needs to be prayed hallelujah hallelujah oh yes God yes God yes God have your way in this place God oh God oh God God is calling us back on our knees Oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 God. I am a Rocco Maria C. I can a Mario Corro Marasai. And a Mario Corio Mousi. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh God, oh God, we're crying out to you this morning. We're crying out to you this morning. Yes, I pray divine protection over this nation. In the name of Jesus. 
We pray divine protection over this state. We pray divine protection over our cities. We pray divine protection over our families. We pray divine protection over our homes. We pray divine protection over our mind. We pray divine protection over our hearts. Rabariosi. We pray divine protection over our bodies. We pray divine protection over our intentions. We pray divine protection over us right now. Oh God. Oh God, have your way in this place. Have your way in this place, oh God. Oh God, have your way in this place, oh God. Oh God, have your way in this place. Holy Ghost said, I'm going to minister to you. I knew the Holy Ghost was up to... Oh, God. Oh, your Marioko, your Maria Sika, and the Mario C. Haramaroko Massa. I am all. We honor you, Holy Spirit. We honor you, Holy Spirit. this has been a very unusual week for me a very unusual day you can remain standing but if you have to sit you can I've been in prayer all week laboring and praying for the people of God Praying and praying and laboring and praying and interceding for the saints, but more so for the Word and Worship Church. I thought I had a message, and just my spirit wasn't connecting, and I'm like, okay, God, life is too important. God's words are too important. We only have moments and seconds, and It's important that we don't waste the people of God's time. I don't know about every other pastor or preacher, but I respect the people of God so much to the point I would rather pray to say something that I want the people to hear. Praying all week, praying all week. I didn't hear nothing this morning. I didn't hear nothing. I begin to pray. There were several things the Lord was dropping in my spirit. And I'm saying, Lord, it seems like every time I come up here, I don't want to be labeled as the pastor of doom or the preacher of doom or every time. And this is my conversation that I'm having with God. And oh, oh y'all my see. He said, your responsibility is to tell the people. First thing I heard, he said, tell the people to get ready, a storm is coming. Not a literal storm, we see that, but a spiritual storm. Second thing he said, it's time for us to get our house in order. He said, we're too caught up. We, we, we are too... And I don't know about any other church. I'm talking about the people of God here. He said, we are living our life like we're going to be here forever. He said, the storm is coming. And what he mean by that is, this is not to frighten us. Because many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord would deliver us from them all. 
He said, the storm is coming, and he said, the storm is coming, and the only ones that's going to make it, the ones that's been fasting and praying and keeping God a priority. God said, I need the people of God to press in. He said, we're too distracted. I, he said, I'm feeling like I'm not a priority. It's amazing how, he said, I'm dispensable. When we look at our lives and when we press and when we search and when we seek and when we make it all these priorities, he said, I feel like you could take me or leave me. I know what your lips are saying. He said, I'm looking at your heart. I'm looking at your intentions. He said, it's time for the people to get their house in order. And then this week in my prayer time, the Holy Ghost just downloaded. He said, I'm bringing Friday night prayer back. Every second Friday, starting in September, all the way up to December, we're going to be out here. We're going to be crying out to God. I may be here by myself. It doesn't matter. It may be two or three. It doesn't matter. But God is saying this is the time that you're going to have to work out your own soul salvation in fear and in tribulance. I think that's Philippians 2 and 7. He said, you're going to have to carry yourself. You're going to have to work out your own soul salvation. What he means by that is that we have to know and do what's right because it's the right thing to do. He said, this casual relationship, he said, we're not going to stand if we don't be grounded and we're not rooted and we're not grounded. He said, and that's why we prayed. We're going to go back in prayer that God give us a hunger and thirst back. Again, when we're out here praying, I'm okay. And I'm not saying, and I promise you, I'm not throwing off when I say this. If it's just me and Jesus here. Because I can't make you want it if you don't want it. And then we're wondering why all of these things in our lives are happening and we're feeling like a life is out of control. What is your spiritual life? Are we making any deposits? Are, 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 we, are we praying and fasting? Are we reading the word of God? Are we doing the basic fundamentals? And I'm telling you, God is taking us back to the basics. Literally back to the basics. We took the whole month off in August to regroup. We're starting back to the basics. This Wednesday at 6 30, we're going to have our first Bible study, and it's called How to Study the Bible. Because if you don't know there's a wind of attack of doctrine in the Bible, if you don't think there's, a, there's an attack on our core system of belief, if you don't realize that the very elect people that's been in, in, in the church a long time, they're starting to start questioning their faith. He said, We take going us back to the basics. Back to the basics. You all can be seated if you need to. Taking us back to the basics. Back to the basics. I promise you, I'm not against musicals. I'm not against all this other stuff. But he said, I'm calling my people back in prayer. Again, we're going to post it. We're going to advertise it. But God said, it's time for you to work out your own soul salvation. He said, you know what issues you have. You know what challenges you have. He said, I'm taking my people back to the basics. Very familiar passage of scripture, but this is what the Lord gave me, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. I want you to hear. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, humble. He said, arrogance is thinking that we can survive without God. Arrogance it's making decisions and moves and living a life without consulting God. We can't consult God if we're not talking to him, if we're not communicating with him. It takes a level of humility to humble and to ask for help. How many people know that it takes humility to ask for help? Because when we ask for help, we have come to the conclusion that we can't do it on our own. He said, I need my people to operate in the spirit of humility. Watch, should humble themselves and to pray. I tell people this, I may not be able to sing. Lord knows I try. I may not even be able to preach. But one thing I do know, I know how to pray. I know how to pray. And that prayer mantle that's on me, I've been praying that prayer mantle on you all. 
that you're going to get to the point that you are going to feel uneasy when you're not spending time in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be like, have you ever felt like my day is off or my, something is off with my day? And I felt that before. Because I can confess, I got caught up and busy and I was praying, but I wasn't consistently in that 4 a.m. prayer like I used to be. In the last two weeks, I said, I have to snap back. I think the Lord took me through that because I had been in that place of praying and 4 a.m. prayer just consistently. And I took being in the presence of the Lord for granted. Because when I wasn't consistent, I noticed that I was, for me personally, I, I had a level of anxiety that I wasn't used to. I was very anxious with the very simplest things. I, I couldn't, my mind wouldn't rest. And I, I, I was, and, and so for anybody that suffers from anxiety, my heart goes out to you because I didn't know that it was, it's a, it was a constant feeling of, uh, uh, of, uh, despair, a constant feeling of, of, of doom and a constant feeling uh, of, of not being able to, to, to make it. I, I, I never experienced that before, but I felt like the Lord allowed me to experience. So for the last two weeks, I'm like, I don't care. I'm back in his presence. And when I got back in his presence consistently, there was a level of peace, assurance. Did my storm stop? No. Same issues. Same situation. Everything was the same. What was the difference? I made time and preparation to be in the presence of the Lord. God has said, I need my people to prioritize me. Prioritize me. Make an appointment with me. God has taken this church to another level. And again, I thank God because at this ministry, we don't beg you. We don't force you. We're not controlling because at the end of the day you have to work out your own soul salvation. We're going to make prayer available. We're going to preach and study. We're going to have make sure Bible study is there. We pray before service. We, 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 we're going to equip you with all of the tools. But I can't make you want it when you don't. And if you're feeling yourself in that place of not wanting it, you have to pray because many are falling by the wayside. But I want to stay consistent, Lord. I want to go ahead. Why is God taking us through this? For many of y'all may know, some of y'all have been following me. I'm more of a prophetic preacher. I don't go by the title prophet. For me personally, if anybody wants to go by that title, God bless. I, I, I don't go by that title. But I know I flow very heavily in the prophetic anointing. And so... When the Lord releases a word, many of us, people that's connected to me, I don't, the Lord had to teach me not to talk so much. I used to talk a whole lot when I was young. But in my position now, and T.D. Jake said this, and this may help some of y'all out, the more powerful you are, the quieter you have to be. Can't do a whole lot of talking. So what God is saying, there's a storm coming. But the blessing is we can prepare ourselves for the storm. As soon as people heard the, the storm was coming, Hurricane Ida, people start making preparations frantically, getting gas, getting water, making preparations to leave. Doing a, he said, that's the kind of urgency I want the people, to, people of God to have in the spirit. I'm telling you, there's a storm coming. What are we doing? We're going to prepare ourselves by being rooted and grounded in the word and not distracted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God said it's going to be hard for us to cultivate a spirit a spirit of connection with God when we're in an environment where people are not hungering and thirsting after God. What God is saying is that if you're around a whole bunch of people that don't have a hunger and thirst, and don't get me wrong, I, Lord, thank you for the hybrid church. We're in the hybrid church. This is where we are. So I'm not, I, I'm not hating it. God bless you for watching us. Because we have people that can't physically be here because they're out of state. But it's something when you are in an environment with believers. It's something when you're in a connection. That's why we spend time with trying to fellowship. 
I know people are starting to discount the church that, well, we don't really need the church and this. But when you are around uh, believers that believe the same thing, when you're around people that seek in God, when you're in an environment of people that believe God, when you're in an environment of people that pray, what is that going to do? That's going to motivate you to pray. That's going to motivate you to be focused. That's going to motivate you to be able to be connected. So what are we doing? I don't have to need to call you on a fast. Call yourself on a fast. Even though we're doing this prayer once a month, I hope you're not praying once a month. Call yourself to pray. Make a schedule. Why? Because the storm is coming. But God said you can be anchored in prayer. While everybody else is panicking and running around, we know that we are focused and solid because we preached about that two weeks ago. We have a solid foundation. Get your house in order. We know our sin life. Oh, we know the things that we're tempted with and we know the things that we're struggling with. Walk in the spirit and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. What are we doing? We're getting our house in order. We're praying and we're seeking God. Somebody says it's time to go back to basics. Don't get me wrong. You heard me say this. I want the lights to get out of all that. We got to get back on our knees, saints. This is, this is a word and a seed to cultivate. And hopefully the anointing is cultivating that hunger and thirst. And the point of him bringing awareness and exposing us and making us aware, let that be a priority. Please don't let it go in one ear and not the other. Don't be around all this word and all this anointing and it's not taking root, which is a form of denying the power thereof being around all this power but not allowing it to cultivate. That's like being around a house full of food and nourishment and you there starving for salvation. I mean starving for my nutrition. So if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray seek my face seeking God Seek his face. This is not something that we don't know. How do we seek his face? Being God chasers. How do we seek his face? The first thing that we say when we have breath in our body, before we check Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and say, Lord, I thank you for waking me up. The first words out of our mouth when we realize that God has blessed us to see another day is, Lord, thank you. How do we seek his face? By putting him first. How do we seek his face? by making God a priority? How do we seek his face? By making church and Bible study and reading the word and, 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 and seeking his face and having prayer time based. A priority! I hear people say, it don't take all that. God bless you. You're super Christian. God bless you. I am being sarcastic. Because for me, it's going to take all of that and more. It's going to take all of that and me calling the intercessory prayer team and say, pray for pastor." It's going to take me praying and you praying for me just like you praying and me praying for you. Look at this. It's going to take all of it for us to make it. And turn from their wicked ways. What's interesting about this passage of scripture, this was King Solomon praying to God. Saying, God, I want you to be with me just like he was with my father. I want the same blessings and I want the same favor. He wasn't talking about the people that were not in the church. This conversation for the children of Israel would translate for us, the people of God. He's telling the people of God to turn from our wicked ways. We don't have to look at our neighbor. We all know the areas of our life that we've been compromising on, that we've been kind of laxed, that we've been kind of making excuses are flat out ignoring. He said, turn from their wicked, and then, how many people have some prayers in the heavens that you need God to do? How many people have some petitions before God and you need God to move like yesterday? How many people believe in the power of prayer, but you have some things that you need God to do? This is the formula for the answered prayer. He said, then we will hear from heaven. So, first of all, we need to 
humble ourselves. We need to pray. We need to seek his face. And we need to turn from our wicked ways and all of those prayers that we have in the heavens. Then we will hear from heaven. He will forgive their sin and he will heal their land. I don't even have a title. I don't know if this was a message or not. I just know what the Lord told me to tell the people of God. He said, he's going to heal our land. He said, but I need the people of God to prepare themselves for the storm. I need the people of God, Rabbi Yossi, to get our house in order. And I need the people of God to pray, to humble, and to seek his face. Let's stand. I, I just want this word to just marinate. And we, we, we're about to pray in a few. But I want this word to marinate. And I want us to just, for the next few seconds, sit silently in the presence of the Lord. I feel the anointing of God. Whew. As he begins to just worship God with the instruments. So what's about to happen, you're going to feel a fresh one of the anointing. You're going to feel the Holy Spirit all over you, and you're going to feel this sensation of peace. You're going to feel the power of God, not in a boisterous way, but you're going to feel the peace and the serenity of God. Father, we delight in your presence. And thank you for the presence of God that we feel in this place. Thank you for saturating us and giving us a hunger and a thirst and a craving for you like never before. Thank you for opening up our eyes. Thank you for opening up our eyes. Thank you for opening up our eyes that we can see. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for information. Thank you for the warning for us to get our house in order and we will listen. Thank you for an ear to hear. So dear Father, I declare and I decree that the blessings and the anointing of God will touch everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare and I decree that you bless us a lot. Dear Father, we thank you that you are going to allow us to have this unquenchable thirst and hunger after you. And we thank you that our spirit will be disrupted 
just like physical hunger pains give us spiritual hunger pains when we are not in your presence like we used to be or need to be don't let us have peace just walking around here without the presence of the Lord so God do it right now so God bless us in the name of Jesus I stand in agreement with every prayer petition I declare and decree that you're going to do it we declare and decree that you're going to answer the prayers. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus that you are going to grant the petitions. Just like Hannah when she prayed, God, we're praying that you're going to release that prayer and that answered prayer. For the next few seconds, just worship him. I'm not going to tell you what to say, but talk to him. Tell him how much he you need him tell him how much you love him tell him how much you adore him I feel something something's about to shift but I, I, I need you to focus on him in your own way he said as you do that I am going to start lifting some burdens I'm going to start destroying some yokes he said I'm delivering from habits right now he said, I am depositing and giving you a hunger and thirst like you've never had before. He said, I'm going to start waking some of y'all up in the morning. He said, that that's for you to pray. He said, matter of fact, I've already started. You've been waking up and trying to figure out why you can't go back to sleep. He said, I'm waking you up because I need you to pray and to seek my face. So God, we do thank you. I want you to stay in that space right there. Sing that song again, Make Room, that y'all started off doing. We are about to wrap up. I'm going to put my mask back on. And Brother Deacon, you're going to get my hand sanitizer. I'll get my oil. I'm feeling led to anybody that would like for me to pray and touch and agree with them. No specific prayer. But you need for me to pray with you. And you can put the camera back on him and they're going to see and I'm going to pray again I'm going to put my mask back on and every time I pray I'm going to sanitize my hands but I, I feel something we thank God for the general prayers that went forth and we even thank everyone that's watching us online as well and the way we're going to do this we want to make sure everyone stands six feet apart so this is how we'll do it We'll just have you come up one at a time, and when you leave, the next person will come. And this is just that you just want me to pray for you. And if you don't need prayer, I don't mean it like that. If you don't want me to pray with you today, I want you to be either worshiping and if you have another song you can do another song but I want there to be a heavy worship God has already started doing something but he's about to complete the work whatever it is and you're not even going to tell me I don't ask people what they're up here for you and God know but God is up to something can I get a witness in this place God is up to something. Praise and worship team along with Brother Dwayne. I need y'all to flow heavily in the prayer. You can come up here. Y'all the first one. Bring me my mask. I like how they're doing it. You all can 
start forming a line right there, six feet apart. Start forming a line right there, six feet apart as well. And that way I know.
If y'all don't mind, I want you to stand to your feet. I thank God for your patience. Now I need y'all to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. For everyone that may still be watching me on the internet, touch, bless, and strengthen them right now. You know about their prayer petition before the heavens, and it's already done. One more time, put those hands together. Say, Lord, thank you for having your way. Come on, say, Lord, thank you for your word. Come on, if you are encouraged, if you are encouraged, if you are encouraged and you do have a mind. Can somebody scream, I do believe that I can make it. Come on, say, thank God for my prayer life. Thank God that I'm focused. Thank God, thank God that I long to be in the presence of the Lord. So I embrace being a prayer warrior. Thank God that I'm going higher. Thank God that I'm going deeper. Thank God that I'm putting God first. If you don't mind. Listen, I'm almost finished. Listen, you hear me say this all the time. Thank God for the financial stuff. Thank God for that. That's not what we're praising God about. We're going to give God a praise, and I'm going, we're going to do our offering and our benediction. Thank God for your patience. But this is what you're praising God about. You're praising God for being a God chaser. You're praising God for making him a priority in your life. You're praising God that you're focused and you're recalibrated and you are bold for Jesus. You are, you, you're praising God that you are going to embrace who God has made you to be in this season. Does that make any sense? Now I need you to give God praise right now because you are embracing the warning and you are adhering to the warning and you thank God for what he's doing in your life. Come on, open up your mouth and give God praise. Open up your mouth and give God praise. Open up your mouth and give God praise. Open up your mouth. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, open up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. 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 Somebody say the best is yet to come. Come on, come on, come on. Look at somebody and say the best is yet to come. Do y'all really believe the best is yet to come? One last time, give God some praise in this house. Amen. Remain standing as we prepare our hearts for the offering and the benediction. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I needed that this morning. Thank you, Lord. Now it is time for us to honor God with our giving, our tithes and offering. Everyone will repeat after me our offering litany. I have favor with God and favor with man. Unlimited resources. Unlimited income, perfect health, perfect wisdom, because I give liberally and cheerfully. We have several ways for you to pay your tithes and offering. Our first is through our website, www.church.org. Second is our church app. We also have text to give, www.church, and give to one 833 702 8073. If you're here in person, if anyone needs an offering envelope, we have someone that can give you one. And we just thank everyone for coming this morning. So we just give you guys a few minutes. We would like to thank you for worshiping with us on this morning. We hope you have been filled with the Holy Spirit and just give God all the honor and glory and praise. Word of prayer before we dismiss. Father God, we just thank you for this morning. Thank you for this great service. We ask you as we depart from this place, Lord, that you keep us safe here and to our destination, Lord. We ask you to help us be a witness for you, Lord. Help us to save someone, Lord, through your grace and through your mercy, Lord. Ask, we ask you that you continue to bless us, Lord. Keep us near and dear to your heart each and every day, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. Thank you.